All right, check it out. I have my test Facebook profile page, but I don't have a cover photo, and I want one. So I'm going to show you how to make a cover photo. Um, the first thing that we need to do is we need to use a image editing program. I'm going to use Photoshop. So you could use Photoshop. You could probably use Paint, but I'm going to use Photoshop in this example. So uh, the first thing that I'm going to do is open up Photoshop, and the cover photo dimensions um, or it need to be 815 by 351. So let's start by opening up a new document, File New, and here are my pixels, and I'm going to change this to 851, and the width, or the height, to 315. I'll keep that at 72, and I'm going to make sure that's an RGB. Background can be white, OK, and you can see that just opens up a new document. Now I already have my photo that I want to use and you should have a photo also that you want to use as your um, this isn't a Facebook privacy tutorial I don't know why this is up here but um, it's definitely a cover photo tutorial anyways take your photo here's mine some friends and I and I'm going to right click on it open with Photoshop or you could even you could even drag and drop um, into Photoshop and the best way about doing it this way, I already have my template here, my, my document, the right size. So now I just need to um, modify this image to be the right size. So I'm going to click on this corner here. I'm going to hold the shift key to keep the proportions. I'm going to just enlarge it so that it's big enough to fit this. And I might just drag it down, you know, just like this. I'm just going to keep it like that enter and you know I'm gonna add a quick effect to that just because why not you know while I'm at it I'm going to click on image adjustments and all of these are grayed out which means I need to duplicate this layer real quick because it's a different type of layer it looks like it's an object or something so I'm going to right click on this layer and I'm going to duplicate layer and that's not going to work either so what I need to do now is take this selection tool I'm going to just select the entire photo control C on the keyboard to copy it and control V to paste it and then I'll just paste it as a standard normal layer now I can go to image adjustments and what should we do well let's change the brightness contrast a little bit I'm just going to make it pop um, where we got I like it. And I'm also going to change. What should I change? I'll change. Did I just change the exposure? I forget. No. So I'm going to change the exposure a little bit. Kind of wash out the back. Um, this is getting this is getting interesting. I'm actually going to finish up here real soon. That's that's kind of wild. I'm just going to keep it like that and uh, click OK. I'm actually going to do this. I'm going to do file, or that's not file, I'm sorry. This is just the drop down menu. And then I'm going to flatten the image, and this will make it a smaller file when I save it. So I'm just going to flatten the image. Here's my image, and I'm going to click on file, save as, desktop. And I'm going to save it as my cover photo, JPEG format. Save. Full quality, why not? Okay. okay I'm going to minimize this. I'm going to go back to Facebook. And I'm going to add this cover photo. So just click on OK. And I'm going to upload a photo. I'm going to select my, I spelled it wrong, cover photo. Typo. And when you make your cover photo the exact size, it's going to say drag to reposition, but you won't need to drag because it's the exact size so you should be all set and you can just click on save changes and once again uh, cover photos are public you cannot change the privacy settings so save changes and that's it that's all I need to do to set my cover photo uh, pretty wild actually I kinda like it but um, yeah if you have any cool cover photos definitely send them my way and uh, you know let me know how this works I hope it uh, helped you set a cover photo so thanks for watching